Hi, Steve here from Apple World Today, and today we're going to take a look at the many features of the Mac Dictionary app. As a writer, I use the Mac Dictionary app a lot. It's great for checking the meaning or pronunciation of a word, using the built-in thesaurus to find uh, alternatives to a word. You know, if you find yourself still reaching for that beat-up college dictionary, stop it and start using your Mac's Dictionary app, which can do a lot more. Let's start by launching the Dictionary app. Like all other Mac apps, it's found in your Applications folder, so you can launch it from there. If you use the Dictionary app a lot, you can add it to your dock by clicking and holding on the Dictionary icon, then selecting Options, Keep in Dock. Another way to launch the app is to use the Spotlight keyboard shortcut, that's Command Spacebar, and then just type the first few letters of the word dictionary. Top hit will be dictionary, and by pressing the return key on your keyboard, the app is launched. Dictionary is also found in Launchpad, so click the little rocket icon in your dock, type a D to limit the Launchpad screen to only those apps that start with the letter D, and then click on Dictionary to launch it. If you have Ask Siri set up on a Mac, you can even ask Siri to launch Dictionary, like this. Hey Siri, launch Dictionary. Here the Dictionary window is open and waiting for use. Notice that in this case there are several different dictionaries that I can actually take a look at. Uh, we actually have one encyclopedia too, that's Wikipedia. There's also an Apple Dictionary, and uh, I have the Oxford American Writer's Thesaurus uh, to choose from in terms of finding synonyms, and of course, like I said, the new Oxford American Dictionary. If your list is different, or if you want to add different sources, that's done from the Dictionary menu. Select Preferences, and this window appears. There's a list of different reference sources listed. You just check the ones that you want, and uh, you can drag them up or down into the order that you prefer. Each of the sources may have additional options. For instance, when I have the new Oxford American Dictionary uh, highlighted here, it asks if I want uh, pronunciation in uh, diacritical, or IPA, that's actually uh, a way of showing how a word is pronounced. Want to translate some words to or from another language? There are a lot of mixed dictionaries, uh, like for instance here you see there's an Arabic English dictionary, Chinese to simplified English, uh, Dutch English. I've added the Oxford Hatchet uh, French dictionary, French to English dictionary. Now, once you have the Dictionary app open and you've chosen some sources, it's extremely easy to use. In the search field at the top of the screen, you just type a word that you want a definition for. Here, I'm going to look up the word Apple. And uh, as you can see, we start with our first preference, the English Dictionary. I can also look at the English Thesaurus, which will uh, actually show no uh, synonyms for the word Apple. Now I can go to Wikipedia and get the full Wikipedia entry for Apple. This is actually a really good way to search Wikipedia if you don't want to have to open a browser window. On the left is a list of items in Wikipedia that contain the world, uh, word Apple, so if I wish to find out more about the company, I can just select Apple Inc. Jumping to the French-English dictionary, I see the French word for apple, pom, as well as common idioms in French. While English speakers uh, may say, there's a bad apple in every bunch, the French use, il y a toujours un brebis galeux, uh, roughly translated as, there's always a black sheep. Finally, we can look at the apple dictionary, 
And what it's going to do is show us a long list of Apple products or services beginning with the word Apple. Now if you don't like how small the letters are in the dictionary app, you can click the larger of the two A's here at the top of the window to increase the font size, or the smaller one to decrease the font size again. Notice that most of the words in the definitions are underlined when you uh, move the pointer over them. That means that what you can do is actually go in and uh, right click on a word and uh, you get a contextual menu that shows up. So when I uh, went in and right clicked on the word fruit, here we're given a choice of looking up that word in a new tab or a new window, doing a Google search and so on. Here, what I'm going to do is actually look up that word in a new tab. So I do that, and you notice that we now have two tabs, kind of like what you see in Safari and other uh, browsers. Now click on that tab to open it, and uh, you can even add a new tab uh, without typing a word by clicking on this plus sign over here. So there's a third tab. Now I have problems sometimes deciphering the diacriticals in International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA, in determining how to pronounce a word. Now here it's pretty easy, fruit, you know, it just looks like a long, two long O's there. Uh, but if you're really having issues trying to figure out how to pronounce a word, you can have your Mac speak the word. Here what I'm going to do is right click on the word product in the definition for fruit, and I'll select speech start speaking product and you just heard it pronounce that word product the Mac operating system even provides access to the dictionary without having to open up the dictionary app so I'm going to go ahead and close it here and we'll go to the Apple World Today website now let's say I want to know what the word support uh, up here means I right click on the word and select look up support and this window appears with the uh, definition of uh, the word synonyms from the English uh, thesaurus and even uh, the French usage of that word now another way to do this is to hover your uh, pointer over a word, uh, not a link, and type the shortcut Control Command D. And you'll notice what it does is it highlights the word in yellow and then shows the same lookup window. Now when I was a rotten little kid, I used to find it fun to look up dirty words in the dictionary. If you've got kids and you want to keep them from following in my footsteps, you can block those words. All you need to do is launch System Preferences, click on Screen Time, and then click on Content and Privacy. What you'll notice here is that uh, if these restrictions are turned off, you just need to turn on by clicking that button. Now on the content tab here, you'll see that we're allowing explicit language in Syrian dictionary. If you want to turn that off for your kids, just uncheck that box and your kids can't look up the meaning of some of those words you'd rather not hear them saying. Occasionally you may find that when you're using another app on your Mac, it decides to flag a word as misspelled. Now this commonly happens with tech terms or brand names. For instance, I'm going to type in Wix. And you notice there I tried to change that to 6. So I'll go in and I'll type it again. And now I get this uh, red dotted underline there, which uh, means that my Mac thinks it's misspelled. Well, I can right click that word and tell the Mac to learn the spelling. Now you still won't be able to search for that word in your dictionaries uh, for the word Wix here in this particular case, but it will no longer be flagged as an incorrect spelling since it's been added to a user dictionary. One more cool thing that has to do with the dictionary, sometimes you may know a word but you don't know how to spell it in order to look it up in the dictionary. Let's say that I need to figure out how to spell the word Gnostic. 
Now, I can just ask Siri. Invoking Siri on the Mac is easy if you have enabled Ask Siri and System Preferences. Now, in this case, I'll just say, Hey Siri, spell Gnostic. Gnostic, G-N-O-S-T-I-C. And sure enough, Siri spells it for me. So as you can see, the dictionary app is incredibly powerful and easy to use. You have no more excuses for not knowing the meaning or spelling of a word, or uh, finding synonyms, or even what a word means or is in another language. We'll see you soon with another helpful Apple tip.